Hey what's up guys it's Kelly and today's top five Wednesday is your top five favorite science fiction and fantasy things in other media forms. So whether that is movies, TV, video games, anime, whatever it is, as long as it's sci-fi and fantasy it's perfect for this. Which I thought was a really cool theme until I started trying to think of my five and realized that pretty much all of my favorite sci-fi and fantasy things are based on books or comic books. I mean it still counts I'm sure because you know I consume them in that media form as well but it just it kind of felt like cheating so I scrapped you know Game of Thrones and Assassination Classroom and all those cool things and eventually came up with five sci-fi and fantasy things that I really enjoy that I don't think have been based on books. There are some of them, like one of the things I know definitely has had books written about it or books based on it, but I don't, it didn't come from books, the books came after. So without further ado, here are my top five favourite sci-fi and fantasy in other forms. Oh, there are one or two more like horror -y type things on here because I figured horror is actually just scary fantasy or scary sci-fi. So it totally counts for this. And also I couldn't I couldn't think of anything else, guys. <laughs> First up on my list is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like that show, guys. I love that show so much. I still haven't finished it actually. I'm somewhere floundering somewhere in season five. I really need to get through those last two or three seasons and then watch Angel because bae. Yeah, I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And okay, in this instance, I have actually, I have read some of the books and I have read quite a few of the comic books and I love those. But as I said, they came after, so it totally still counts. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is amazing. I don't think you guys need me to tell you what it's about. It is so famous. It's been around for over 20 years. My goodness. That show is older than me, I think. If you're looking for a show to watch that's going to make you feel like really strong and empowered as a woman, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Aside from the fact that she is permanently kicking guys' butts, She's also like stronger and more badass than all the guys around her, so just yeah, she's great. She's she's great. Frank and Weenie, the Tim Burton film, is just oh, I love that film so much. It's heartbreaking and horribly, horribly, horribly sad, and then just so heartwarming. And Frank Iero is on the soundtrack, which just yes. If you haven't watched it or heard of it, which I doubt because it's quite famous but it's about this boy whose dog dies and he finds a way to resurrect it. So it's like a, it's obviously very much based on Frankenstein, but in a very like sweet heartwarming way. And I'm sure that a lot of you have watched the animated film, but if you weren't aware, there's actually, Tim Burton did a live action short of it in like the 90s or something, which I think is on the Nightmare Before Christmas DVD. He made like a half hour short film, a live action one, which is also absolutely amazing. So if you enjoyed the animated film, definitely see if you can find yourself the live action one because it's so cool. Nightmare on Elm Street. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. They're such great films. And by great, I obviously do not mean good. Like you guys, you guys know I have like a soft spot for bad stuff. Hence, I love Fifty Shades of Grey. When it comes to consuming media, I don't differentiate between good and enjoyable. I mean, I do to a point, you know, I can look at something and go, okay, like, I know that this is not a good film, but, you know, when I talk about enjoying stuff, I don't consider how good something was. I consider how, how much I enjoyed it, as much as literature and film is art and it should, there shouldn't be a certain amount of skill going into it. It's also, at the end of the day, it's just supposed to be there to and for us to enjoy and to make our lives better and nicer and you know things don't have to be good to do that they just have to be they just have to hit you in the right feels <laughs> so yeah I love Nightmare on Elm Street I love the bad prosthetics and the bad CGI and although they're not well done because obviously they were made in the 80s the concept of it is one of the few horror movie concepts that I find truly terrifying because the one place I feel really safe is in my bed when I'm asleep so the idea that that is the one place where you are absolutely 100% not safe really, really freaks me out. Rick and Morty! Who doesn't love Rick and Morty? Anyone, the only people that don't love Rick and Morty, I think, are the people that haven't watched Rick and Morty. It is so good, it is so funny. It's Just in case you haven't heard of it, it's about this boy called Morty, who, he's probably like 15, and his crazy, super smart grandpa lives with him and his family, his grandpa's name is Rick, and they go on all these adventures throughout space and to all like these weird places and alternate dimensions and it is awesome, it is so funny and so weird and silly and if you 
if you haven't watched it because you don't like sci-fi, my boyfriend really doesn't like sci-fi. He's he he enjoys like some fantasy, but he's not into sci-fi at all. And he really enjoyed Rick and Morty because it's just so great. It's so funny. And although there is obviously that sci-fi element to it, at the end of the day, it's really just about this boy and his grandpa going on adventures and his grandpa being really inappropriate and just the whole thing being a complete giggle fest. And lastly, American Horror Story. As I said, I had to put some horror on this list. American Horror Story is great. I've only watched up till season four. Yeah, I've only watched up till Freak Show. I haven't watched Hotel. I haven't watched Cult. Is Cult out yet? I don't know if Cult's out yet, but I haven't watched Hotel. I haven't watched Roanoke and I haven't watched Cult. All of which I'm so excited to get to because they all look so good. They're not on Netflix, I say, but I am just actually check if they're on Show Max because I need I need those in my life. Evan Peters though, guys. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I love American Horror Story. I've loved all four seasons that I've watched. Obviously in varying degrees of enjoyment and for different reasons, but it's just production-wise, it's amazing. It's so well done. The cast is always incredible. The storyline's always great. And I just think that it's an amazing, amazing show. So those are my top five favorite sci-fi and fantasy things in other medias. I wish I could have included some video games in this, but I don't really play video games. Not by choice. I would like to play video games, but I don't have a console. I mean, we have a Wii, but that's really more for, like, active things. So we don't have a console, and my laptop is really, really rubbish. So I can't really play decent games on there. But I would like to get, in the next few years, I'd like to save up and get either an Xbox or I do need to upgrade my computer to something that can manage Photoshop properly because my laptop at the moment struggles. Yeah, so I need to upgrade my laptop anyway, so I'll hopefully be able to upgrade to something that can handle some gaming, which is why, yeah, there were no video games on this list, but there are so many cool video games that I want to play that would have applied for this. And then also the other suggestion they gave was anime, but all the anime I've watched is based on manga, so I didn't want to include that either. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what your favourite sci-fi and fantasy non-bookish media is, because I love sci-fi and fantasy and I'd like to watch some more, so give me some recommendations and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!